And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Minnesota Twins. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. About to get started here, and today's starting pitcher, Johan Santana. Yeah, Bo, he went deep into the game last time, only allowed one run, but he took a tough loss. Got to bounce back from those quickly and know that today's a new day. You can get that W. Ready to go? Here's the veteran shortstop, Derek Jeter. The shortstop, Derek Jeter. And he deals. Pitch misses, wow. and we're underway. The 1 0. And 2 wow. 0 to the Yankee shortstop. That's wow. in there. Strike one. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. That one ripped. Hunter going back. Back some more. Back some more. And it's off the top of the wall. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day. And a nice job of turning that one around. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, the offense oh, really struggled last night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. No outs. Runner on second. There's the strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. The 0-2. Stays alive. The pitch. And 1-2. and two. Next offering misses down and away. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. And now, Babe Ruth. Ball no, one, no not. strikes. One out and a runner at second. Next offering oh. upstairs. Appears they're working Good around up. him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. And the pitch. Drilled in the air. Right field. Way back there. And that is out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. And it gives him the lead in the first. It's 2-0.
knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Now here's the Yankees cleanup hitter, Lou Gehrig. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Still only one out here in the inning. Hard ground ball base knock. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. One gone runner at first. Stepping in the long ball threat, Mickey Mantle. No hits in the shutout last night. And a foul ball. Step off, throw to first. And he's back in easily. Kicks and fires. On the ground right side. Slings to second. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Two-run blast for the Yankees this inning. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at target field. And on the hill here today, Carlos Rodon. Chris is sub three ERA for him a year ago. Well, when your numbers are coming in under three as a starting pitcher that's going out there every fourth or fifth day, taking the ball, competing against really good big league hitters, it's extremely impressive. And you wonder what he figured out last year that he can carry into this season that can help him to maintain that number or even drop it lower. We'll see, but we know he's got good stuff. And he should be really good in this one today. That's hard hit on the line. Mantle makes the catch. And there's one away. And now we take a peek at the Twins lineup. It features a great veteran presence, Torrey Hunter. Ah, oh, Boog, what a great talent. I mean, the kind of player who can dominate a game at times, be a perennial all-star. It's going to take home some hardware as well. I mean, he's one of the best in the game today and always fun to watch. Tory Hunter, the next twin up to hit. Two for eight in the series so far. Off the plate, oh. one and oh. Rodon, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he occasionally uses a curve. Rodon ready. Here comes. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. High fly ball, shallow right field. He's there. He's got it. And there's two down. Batting third. The right, the right field. field. Mike goal. Lee. Two outs, space is empty. Michael Lee getting ready to hit. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. And the first pitch Go misses left. for ball one. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Next pitch misses, and now 2-0. Balls, no strike. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Twins retired in short order. They trail it here 2-0. Top of the second, here comes Aaron Judge. The white the white game, number 99. Aaron Judge in 2016 got 95 plate appearances and hit just 179. 
he kept that number 179 in the notes section on his iPhone the entire offseason. And then in 2017, he had 52 homers and won the rookie of the year. The lefty, the 1 0. And there's a ball. Yeah, that rookie season for Aaron Judge makes the all star team, wins the home run derby down there in Miami, and just really stepping into the bright lights of being a superstar player in this league. Yeehaw. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Two and one on Judge. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Mauer settles underneath it. Two two now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Two two now. And that's downstairs and outside. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Jorge. Here's the Yankees Posada. catcher now, Jorge Posada. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Runner at first with no outs here. Ground ball right side could be two. Fired to second. How about that double play? For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. And up next for New York, Curtis Granderson. Two for seven in the series so far. First offering misses the mark. Looked like it was a little bit up. Wind to kick the 2 0. There's the strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. The 3 1. And he walked him. Take your base. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. The pitch. Swing and a miss, blew it by him at 99. That one That's just misses. Ball. It's a good take. Out towards right center field. Lee under this one. Makes the play and it's out number three. One left for the Yankees, but they hold a 2-0 lead. We head to the bottom of the second. Now, Joe Maurer. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. 
First pitch no, that, just that, that's misses. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. The 1-1. One, one. Swings through that one for strike two. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and oh. presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. Left-hand batter waits. And Chris, beyond the fact that he's so incredible defensively, he also oh, no. could swing the stick. And here's a 3-2. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One down. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there not after it, not, not it, getting it. the call. He probably should have gotten it. He didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Next to hit, Justin Mordeaux. One down, base is empty. And yeah, that's outside. Out. And now two and one. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. The two one. That one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to the left. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. He smashed that ball the other way and kept it fair down the third baseline. Did an excellent job of just throwing the barrel at the ball, even though he was a little late on it. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. And first offering is fouled off. And that one is That's inside ball. ball one. Freddie Ferguson behind the dish calling the balls and strikes. Runner at second here, one gone. Pitch misses, no two balls and a strike. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that has a reputation for being Fergalicious. Yes, and, you know, whatever. <laughs> Delicious. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. That's out number two. That is that is no left no field. Left Byron. Byron. Here's Byron Buxton. Buxton. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Runner at second, two down. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. That one misses, and it's two and one. Don sets and deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. 
That is the inning. Twins wind up stranding one, and they're down 2 nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Lee now it's the shortstop, Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter getting to start at shortstop. Over 1,000 runs batted in in his career, and he's a former All Star Game MVP. There's the strike. And that's a strike. 0 2 Cal, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking. I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. And here it comes. And now oh, one oh, and two. O2 two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Tried Where's to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. He did not go around. Two, two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Drops into the glove, and there's one down. Now, now that third base, DJ. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The next offering misses, and that's ball one. One and one. And that one a little bit high. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. And Here out two and two. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. In the air, left field, down the line. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Up next for the Yankees. Two outs, base is empty. Next is the designated hitter, Babe Ruth. He's one for one with a two-run homer his first time up. Ruth measures six feet two inches, 26 years old, and they traded yeah. for him earlier this year. You'll one. Good eye in that spot. And another oh. ball. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. The 2 1. What? There's a strike. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Yanks held in check. They're up 2 nothing. And welcome back as we go to the last of the third. Now the third baseman, Kyle Farmer. Farmer. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And here comes Carlos Correa. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Mantle ranging back, makes the grab. One away.
Now that second baseman, Rob Carew. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Now at the plate, Rod Carew. Carew, the former MVP, hitting leadoff in today's game, and he was born in Panama. And a foul ball. Rodon fires. Good eye right Ball. there. One and two. And down on strikes he goes. That's the second out. So up next for Minnesota, Torrey Hunter. Flied to right his first time. Hunter. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. And strike two. No balls, two strikes. Rodon ready, the 0 2 on the way. That's the ball. Fights it off, you'll see another. The one two. Yeah, the one two oh. misses to even the count. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. And this one bounces away from Posada. In there safely. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Three two now. He's that gone. one 95 to finish him off. One left for Minnesota. They trail things here, two nothing. All set for the start of the Leading inning, and now the first baseman, the Lou Gehrig. Number four, Lou Gehrig. The wind and the pitch. That one That's drifts ball. inside. Uh, you know, these Yankees do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats oh. out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more oh. damage later in this game. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Mantle batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Next offering is downstairs. One and one. And a pitch. Swing and a slow roller. Sends it across to first. Two up, two down. The right field, number 99. Aaron Judge. Two outs, base is empty. Aaron Judge at the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. And that 
is in for a strike. Going one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And that one fouled off. And here comes an 0-2 to Judge. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. One, two, three, go the Yankees. But they're on top 2 nothing. Back in Minnesota, John Chambi and Chris Singleton Lee. with you. And the leading off the here. bottom of the fourth, Michael, Michael Lee. Lee. Rodone back to work. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Started after it. Appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. The 0-2. That one ripped left field. This one's got a chance. And it's gone! Home run! Third home run of the season, and they're chipping away. It's 2-1. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Joe Mauer, the next twin up to hit, went down on strikes his first time through. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. And it's one and one. They tried to get him to chase on a slider. Down it away. Fouls one off. Two and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. The wind of the pitch. And yeah, that's, that's too ball. high. That's a really good take. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now here is Justin Mordeaux. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Throw. Save. Osana too late for the throw. off he was late at the belt and fires that one inside and the count is one and two one two cuts and misses it's a strikeout 
Well, I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. So digging in, Jorge Polanco, 0 for 1 so far. That misses. Ball one. Ground ball left side. Oh, wow. nice play. Nicely done for the out. Third base would have to be so quick with their first step reactions. Hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. Now here is Byron Buxton. Swing and a miss, and that is strike one. And that's outside. Two outs and one in scoring position. And now one and two. a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. Twins get one on this homer. And the home team down a run. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. New inning getting started, and now it's going to be Jorge Posada. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. The pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Ball to strike. Good eye right Whoa. there. That one missed. Oh. Yeah. And now it's filled up. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. Back to work. 3-2 now. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even now if it's that. still in the, the strike zone, can be tough Curtis. for hitters to get on top of. Granderson. So up next, Curtis Granderson worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Next offering popped in the air, right field, and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Up, Couldn't up, quite up, barrel up, it up enough to really drive it. Here's Glaber Torres. Flying out his first time. In there for strike one. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some guys. Close, That's but called a ball. One ball, one strike. To the right side. And that one handled in plenty of time to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Three up, three down for him there. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Yankees two and the Twins one. Bottom of the inning. And now for the Twins, Kyle Farmer. 
the third baseman. And a pitch. Flips the corner. Going one. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. 0 oh, 2 now. Line drive. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0 2 count. Now, Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone, keep that leadoff man off first base. Runner at first. Now Correa up to hit. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Check swing went around. And it's 0 and 1. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Got him swinging for the K. Some high cheese for strike three. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Here's the second baseman, Rod Carew. Yeah, the first offering is not close. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Two balls, no That's strikes ball. to count. Way to lay off that pitch down. Lifted in the air, out to left. Brings it in with a nice running grab. Two down. Now got it. Center fielder. Tory Hunter, the next twin up to hit. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. That's off the mark. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Late that time, and it's strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Next one misses, Ball. and it's two and two. And that Ball. one is inside. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Michael Lee would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Third out. Twins wind up stranding one. They're down two to one. Sonny Gray gets the call from the pen. He last pitched two days ago. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the twin. Number 54, Sonny. Derek Jeter digs in now. Gray measures 5 feet 10 inches, 195 pounds, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. That's through there for a strike. They always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move through the at-bat. And the right-hander deals. 
Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Some movement in the Twins' bullpen. Bailey over, warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. That one is gone. He flexes his power with that swing. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3-1. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. And now Babe Ruth. Jack Swing oh, went around. Going one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Next one offering in the strike. dirt. One and one. And there's a ball. That misses the zone. Three balls and a strike. There's a strike. Full count. Payoff pitch. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And that one is gone. His second home run of the game, and they add a run. It's 4-1. back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate this is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club so now it's the four hole hitter Lou Gehrig that oh. takes low for ball one Gehrig a career batting average over 325 and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games Riding to the plate. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And the righty deals. Next offering is outside. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Here's a 2-2. In the air out to center. Hunter has it sized up. Hauls it in for the out. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Two outs, base is empty. Mickey Mantle stepping in now for the Yankees. The bit behind with that swing. Oh, it's strike one. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for that later is, in this at bat? Ball. One and one. The one and one. And now two that and ball. one after that missed inside.
come back to the mound. And it gets by him. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. So two down. It's Aaron Judge now. Judge goes six feet, seven inches, 280 pounds, and he's a former home run derby champ. Check swing, but he went too far. 0-1. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And ball one. Righty delivers. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 4-1. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at target field, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Michael Lee. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. That one misses in the dirt. In there at the knees. Here's a 1-1. That's the ball. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Swings and misses. Two, two. And the count's even at two. Well, baseball's coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Lined, and that's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Just a solid now swing right there. Yeah. Got it out front and yeah. ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Joe Maurer, the next twin up to hit. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And that one hops the wall. Lee headed for the plate. The relay throw. It's offline and he scores. And now just a two-run deficit. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. <laughs> and here's the first baseman, Justin Mordeaux. And first offering is fouled off. a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Next offering misses. Going to count one and two. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Save. It's 4-3. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time. Good balanced approach and just blasted it through the infield. Next is the DH. A switch hitter. Jorge Polanco. And that one is in the dirt. And that's ball one.
Here comes a pitch. Nobody out. Runner at first. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. And now the lefty. That one misses. And now three balls and a strike. Byron Buxton in the on-deck circle for the Twins. And there's ball four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short. It's starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Carlos Rodon is done in this one. Just never found his groove, wasn't able to settle in. New arm coming on, back in a moment. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Domingo Herman. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Byron Buxton, the next twin up to hit. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Well, there's a reason why he's at the bottom of the order, struggling as of late. But a knock here would be a huge lift for him and for his team. Ball one there. And the 1 0. Just no, missed. That's not, that's not. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Next pitch is outside. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. No outs, runners at first and second. That's a strike, and now three and one. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, interesting, he went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Base is loaded, nobody out. Kyle Farmer up to the plate now. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive in the center field. And first offering is fouled off. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over-anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. Got the back going too soon in strike two. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something that you... Bounce to the left side. Stops it on a slide. Over to Torres. And a run scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer. Here's Carlos Correa. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Two outs with a runner at third. Next offering is down low. And it's 2-0. Oh. Ball out there on the mound. He's got to go right after this hitter because you don't want to turn this lineup over. This is the guy that you've got to get that final out, get out of this inning. And now two balls and a strike. Ball. Well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. Tied at four. 
Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Rod Carew next to bat for Minnesota. Runner at third, two away. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Granderson makes the grab, and that's the inning. So they get three and draw even. Seventh inning coming up, and we are tied 4-4. Griffin Jacks taking over on the mound. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Now, Jorge Posada stepping in now for the Yankees. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Just nope. missed. Oh. One and one. Tied at four. Posada tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing according to Eric Summers Gill. Way inside two two. gets out of the way. Right-handed reliever. And now it's filled up. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Keeps the advantage going with a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and fires. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Also really good at that. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. 3-2. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Go ahead, run on base. And next for New York, Curtis Granderson. Pitch misses outside. And it's 1-0. He was late there, strike one. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. The 1-1. One, one. There's a swing and a miss. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it, still try to get that ground ball double play. Got him swinging. Well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. Oh, just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Next one off the plate inside. Two and one. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. And another ball. Derek Jeter waiting to hit for the Yankees. 
One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Popped up. Carew sizes this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. The battle, number two. Derek Jeter. So the lineup flips over. Next to hit, Derek Jeter. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. in there for strike one. Oh, we won. Two outs. Now one Third and one. one. One, two. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. The Yanks lead one. Score remains tied at four. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the seventh. Now here is Rod Carew. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Ground ball up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. He decides to hold on to it and they come away without a doubt. Waste no time there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And here is Tory Hunter. Late swing fouled off. Curveball drops in there for a strike. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. Roll to short. Could be two. The underhand flip over to Torres. Relay to first. Double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there. And his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Michael Lee, the next twin up to hit. First offering, and it just misses. One and oh. And he deals. That's down and oh. in. And the pitch. No, that's down. Ball. That just oh, missed. He walked him on four pitches. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because yeah. if you pitch yeah. to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. First offering, runner goes. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Save. Posada too late with the throw. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base was impossible without that sprint speed. Left-hand hitter waits. Good eye right yeah. there. Oh.
Swing and a miss. One and two. And a ball evens the count. Two down. Go ahead, run in scoring position. In the air to left center, Granderson. Coming in on it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Coming out of the bullpen for the Twins, Giovanni Moran. Now pitching for the Twins. Number 71. Giovanni Moran. DJ LeMay Hugh to start it off. He's already homered in this game. The line of the pitch. Just missed. And now two and nothing. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Pitch misses, and it's 3-0. Babe Ruth on deck for the Yankees. Here's a 3-0. That's a strike across the top of the zone. And that's ball four. Take your base. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's some real power at the plate. Babe Ruth looking for his third home run of the game. Yeah, he blasted his second of the game in the sixth inning. Scott looks like he's playing on beginner mode in this one. Beginner mode is where it's at, Chris. First pitch, not close. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Falling behind two and one. Activity in the bullpen. Caleb Fieldbar warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swings through that one. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next pitch is outside. Lou Gehrig waits on deck. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. pitch inside just missed two will count to a guy like this at the plate you've got to throw a pitcher's pitch don't just try to get a strike he could make you pay good hitters count the 2-0 -oh. 
And a big swing and a miss. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next pitch inside. And now three and one. Mickey Mantle up next. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. And it's filled up. And ball four to a board. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. Substitution now at first base. And here's the Yankees pinch runner, Harrison Bader. First and second, one out. Mickey Mantle stepping in now for the Yankees. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Next pitch inside, and now it's even one and one. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Misses outside, and it's two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. The two one. That is that's the ball. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Aaron Judge to bat next. The 3 1. And that nope. is ball four. And the Yankees are in business. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, boo. It's all about creating opportunities. And this is one of them right here. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. This guy with light tower power. And the first pitch misses for ball one. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. The 1-0. And yeah. that gets the inside corner for a strike. Swings and misses. One ball, two, that three. is strike two. Got him looking for the strikeout. And a big sigh of relief from the mound with that called third strike. Well, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You had the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. Jorge Posada stepping in now for the Yankees. There's yeah. the strike. The bases are full for the New York Yankees. That one not one, one. close. And it's a ball and a strike. Swing and this ball is hammered. No doubt about it. Out of here. Grand slam. It's his sixth home run of the season, and the Yankees have the lead. It's 8-4. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish.
Just an unbelievable turn of events here. I mean, they've been putting together solid at bats all inning. They set the table for him, and he delivered big time to get him the lead. Huge momentum shift on that swing, and now we'll see if they can hold on. New pitcher on now, Yohan Duran. He's into the game with the bases empty. Curtis Granderson stepping in now for the Yankees. That one missed. Next offering is in for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Next pitch nope. just oh. misses. And yeah, that's ball two. Got him. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. But the damage was done right here as you get another look at the Grand Slam home run. It's now an 8-4 score. So coming into the game now on defense, Don Mattingly. He takes over as the new first baseman. And now, Justin Morneau. For the twist. The first baseman. Justin Morgan. Herman back to work. That one missing inside. Movement in the bullpen. Michael King getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Abreu warming up as well. The pitch. Ball. Right side, hard hit. He takes it on his own, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out now in the eighth. The designated hitter. Jorge. Jorge. And now the Minnesota designated hitter, Jorge Polanco. Possibly thinking about home run number 100 here. He's just one shy of that milestone. In there at the knees. Strike one. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. And it's fouled away. Wind in the pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Here's the 0-2. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Going oh, 2 now. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. The left field, so two down now, and here is Byron Buxton. Buxton. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That one ripped, but foul. And the 2 Swings and misses. Struck him out. 
Nothing doing here for the Twins. They're unable to make a dent in an 8-4 deficit. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's Glaber Torres. Glaber Duran in his second season, 25 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. That's in there, and it's 0 1. And here it comes. Fought off foul. And the pitch. Got it by him for the K. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Jeter, hey, batting with one down, takes the strike. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And that one pulled foul. That misses off the outside edge. Flips the outside corner. That's strike two. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. The next pitch misses. The count now two and two. And yeah, that's outside. Babe Ruth waiting for a turn at the plate. Line drive, jumps, but it's off his glove. Flip to the pitcher is in time. And they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. Three up, three down that time. Eight, nine, one, two up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Yankees eight and the Twins four. Michael King on the pitch here. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Michael King. Here's the third baseman, Leading Kyle off, Farmer. The, the, the third baseman, Kyle, Kyle Farmer. The pitch. In the dirt, 1-0. One and oh. And that's in there at the knees. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Strike on the inside corner. One, two. Next offering oh, is down low. And now the count filled up three and two. Caught him looking for the K. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. Correa in the box now. No balls in a strike.
Next pitch misses. And one and one. Up the middle. Collected by Torres. That takes care of Correa. Now that the second base. Rod Carew, the next twin up to hit. First pitch Ball, just misses. Left hand batter waits. That misses the nope. zone. Ball. Two balls, no strikes. And a pitch. Swings over the top of that one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And that skips in the dirt. Tory Hunter in the on deck circle for the Twins. To third, LeMayhew. Throw to first, ball game. And the Yankees win the rubber match of this three-game series. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good momentum. But at home, you also have a higher expectation to play well. So they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot. And our final here today, 8-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees, eight runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Twins, four runs on nine hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and twenty-six minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we, and we remind, remind you to please drive home safely. safely.